Local energy companies, they are following her lead, asking people to conserve as much as possible. Abby Dodge is joining us this morning from our kitchen here in our studios. And Abby, are they doing this to benefit their own bottom line? And what can we do to help? Well, Joe, that's a really good question. Sub-zero temperatures that Aaron has been talking about are causing an increase in energy demand and natural gas supply constraints. Utility companies are experiencing wholesale natural gas prices anywhere from 10 to 100 times higher than normal. Those costs will eventually flow down to customers as an increase in monthly natural, natural gas and electricity bills. Hopefully, these next few changes that I'll talk about will stop that from happening or at least make your energy and electricity bill a little bit lower. Here are some things that you can do like holding off some chores for a few days like laundry and dishes and also turning your thermostat down a couple of degrees. Just reach for a nice warm sweater. Then you can also change your water heater from hot to warm and checking to make sure all of your windows and doors are sealed. It's been quite a while since Evergy's asked customers to help them out. So it's been probably a decade or so, especially in the wintertime, since we've had to call on customers to conserve energy uh, in, in the winter because of cold temperatures. And it's not just Evergy. Multiple companies are asking their customers to make a few changes in their habits. The good news is that we should be back to normal as we start to warm up these next couple of days.